and also it's like their 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 unique chance to comp uh, um, to play against such high clubs and such high opponents. Because in Australia, you yeah. you have a, they establish a really good system, and that's the horn for. S yeah, online. There was I thought there was a start. Yeah, yeah. now it's a start, but so we, we had a little bit delay here. Um, so it started really strong from the white team that's Vienna here playing. Uh, they really try to get in there. We saw um, a few more games where in the first two or three minutes there was a goal just to settle a little bit the game to mm -hmm. not struggle so long as Barcelona did in their game before. And right now we have a strong counter attack from the goals. Um, passing nicely down here, t attacking in a wave of three. Uh, and there comes the next wave, and they're really trying to play around the basket coming now from above, but we see a really good defense here from Vienna on top. The goalie number 14 is Thomas Denk, which you know is a commentator from the World oh. Championship. And now the There's ball dropped, and there should have been somebody. Someone, the other team member to finally score. It was a pre-work done, well done, by, by the Unidive goal team member, bringing yes. the ball close to the goal from Vienna, but the other one was, as you said, missing, and that's a chance, gone. And it will be hard work to build up this chance again. But here we go, another attack from the Unidive goals. They're playing precise. And they're yeah, they are I think they really want three. to win this. So now we saw another close attack, but tackled away from behind from yeah. one of the forwards of the Vienna team. But still uh, some pressure from the goals onto the Vienna basket here. Still going on defense, trying to get hold of it um, and breaking through. So we have here from Sophie Lamande, Nathalie Solano, go goals. There are some uh, Australian supporters here. That's nice to hear. Somebody from Vienna watching. Great. We, I think it's the last game for both teams. Yes. And they can give all their power after that can relax all the day so that's also something making a difference yes but tackled away it was um, close a pass over to the close corner to the guy close to the basket but no success because defense from Vienna was there so waiting passing up they're going down nicely yeah. um, they're playing safe you know yeah. the goals looking really like they're really Not confident, stressed, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what I was said before. If you're in an attack, you don't hurry so much. You wait for your yeah. your team team players to come in there to establish the attack, set it up quite well, and then attack. Yeah, and Still that's what's com that's going such with confidence here, yeah. going in alone, trying to go from above here. We see number one from Australia. Yeah, there it and was. And that's goal. it. That's the goal. I think it was number one. Consequently, yes. Unidive goals in the first three <laughs> minutes going always over to Vienna's basket. Concentrated again and again with a yeah. calm behavior, really. And <coughs> so finally scored. Yeah. Go, uh, goal for girl, uh, goals by number one, Fredrik uh, Corrales. Really nicely uh, executed. So I hope uh, Vienna wakes up and can <laughs> manage no it really it can manage maybe to to do some more fort checking to get out of the defense position they, it's they really tiring you. they hurt you and yeah recovered the ball as in the same moment you said so next time we do sound on the ears of the players hey and that's a goal from Vienna. They just they heard, heard what you said without they have the sound in the pool. So, really nicely. That's what I said. Like, you said goals could make it. I wouldn't doubt it, but it's like it's two equal teams hungry for here to win. They're playing. I think it's. Uh, they're playing for seventh or eighth um, placement in 13 men's team playing here at the Champions Cup. So I think they're really hungry to, to win. win both really. teams. Yeah. So we see a nice counter attack now from goals. I think it will be a nice tight game. Uh, tackled by two players. Vienna is in ball position by number 19. Uh, Balduin Landle trying here to go so over. Was this a 
game-changing situation we had the minute before, because now it looks like different. Now it looks like we have a wash and that's it, that's... You need that goals. I think we should tell them they should wake up. And that's a goal by number four of Vienna, Jan Kindermann. I think, I think um, it, it's always also uh, interesting how you go into a game. If you underestimate uh, the opponent, then they maybe try to score the first, and then you, you really wake up and say, okay, right now we have to play stronger, be more aggressive. They were really defending a long time, and right now, what did happen, goals, is asking Colombo. We don't quite know. Um, Here we have a counter attack. But we have a Unidad counter attack goals. by number seven going over there. That's a nicely one, but there's missing one. That could be a goal, In but it's a referee holding, call holding. holding. Yeah. And a free throw against goals for. Ah, that's a timeout for goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that the referees weren't quite that's sure a good what would happen. To yeah. have a timeout. Yes. To come together, calm down a little bit, because in the very first beginning they had the Unidad goals. They were really calm yes. and really nice, playing concentrated. And the last minute we saw like losing concentration. Yes. Con self confident, as you said. Self confident was gone. No, coming back to that will be. The rest of the game really interesting. Yes. Because th this will be changing. Um, nearly equal teams playing a good rugby here. And it's really nice to see how it's going forward. Passes are going. People are in the position to, to finally score. Really great. So it is a training by watching. So everyone watching these games playing next time in the training quite different. So. Yeah, and we also we see here in the camera number 88, he told me yesterday it's his first time here at Champions Cup. But I think they're really uh, trying to to get in there. Playing against Vienna isn't always easy, but the men are doing a good job. Now we have quite more set defense here oh. from goals. Um, Recovering. So we see here number one um, from goals. Being outside of the game Play, area. Yeah. Yeah, that's playing outside the area, and it's a free throw for Vienna. Shortly after the first one. Hmm. Oh, we see here number... Huh. Vienna is taking time. Yes. I think they're much cool. more confident, but no. they're in a lead with a 2-1. Um, trying to get in another one there's that's a nice chance but he was tackled away by uh, right. the defense from goals trying to hold on here so somebody could help the defense player we see here nicely recovering still from in Vienna the still in ball position but right now number 11 tries but couldn't succeed in tackling away the ball Waiting, they're also doing this. Waiting yeah. down. Sometimes you see that's a referee call, yeah. and it's a clear free throw against Vienna. But I couldn't see a clear signal. Why? Right. Sometimes when the team member with the ball is waiting for coming of the wave or the other next step of the strategy, they're going upwards to the surface. Yes. And this is really often destroying the flow and it's really making a difference when they wait in the corner, down on the button, and then it's when the next wave's coming, it's really like m more often successfully. Yeah, so we have here one uh, minute 40 seconds left in game 51 of Champions Cup. We see, we see right now heavily attack on to the um, goals basket. Uh, so for everybody who's new, 
watching it, Unidive Colt came from Queensland, Australia. Australia, as the Australians would say. And then um, we have a scrum at the surface right now, trying to break through. They're trying to for check. And we know there's number 17 of Golds, uh, Jared Carney, trying to reach here the Vienna baskets. And now they maybe have the chance to establish one of their calm oh. attacks here in waves to not That's lose hard. it again. But there's three, four players yeah. against one Unidive player. And now we see here like number again the yes. Unidive goals here was so great looking in the first few minutes like so concentrated yes so clear position and playing position playing and now they're losing like looking confused being alone as you said with yes. three vienna trying to hear to members. tackle they tackled um, away the that's really dangerous yes so it's a dangerous situation here at the a basket, so we see here uh, <gasps> number three, that's Hannah lying on top as a goalie. Here it and is, number 21. But she was quite... Thorsten um, the, the goalie was quite long time alone. So defense was missing. That's really sad. And half time. Good, yeah. You see here still on the on the floor you see the goalie breathing number three Hannah she played for Australia uh, in the women's national team she was quite good yeah how she is but, but it's always Vienna guy yes. two, two Vienna and guys against alone, one girl so. is is heavily she did it really good um, she did a great job here but a girl against two Vienna guys tough yeah what a lady what a lady where are the other guys. So where is the defense? <laughs> yeah, where was Things the defense? Like it this. was coming. You saw, you saw um, the, the changing goalie number twenty-four, Lobi. He's also quite experienced. Um, he really wanted to get in there, couldn't get the chance, and then there was the goal. It was right. just in it, it's seconds in underwater rugby that decide sometimes a game. We have now three, one lead for Vienna for uh from Austria. And now they gather together to talk about it. You see another goal player catching mm -hmm. some stuff here. Maybe goal is uh, doing some changes. Um, or maybe they already did because I didn't see number 88. And then we see also what, what also every, every half time interesting to see the referees. They're talking to each other, communicating with the country on the water. So if they see um, a fault that's committed quite often, they talk about it so they pay much more attention to it, like holding onto mm. the basket or something like that. So we do not have lot, a lot of minutes and a lot of time left for this halftime. Um also we have the mention here from Raphael Rincon. They're actually, I knew there are actually two ladies playing for the goals here, Henna and Jody. So congratulations to them both. They're doing an uh, amazing job here. Awesome. An immense team. An immense team. That's yeah. That's quite always good like job. Really hard yeah, quite training. Good. It's really good job. So in a women team, they should be the the masters. Are they in the national team? Do you know? Yeah. They're, I think uh, um, Jody is for Nehenna is for sure national team. Is Jody also playing national team for Australia? Could somebody on the live chat um, giving the information? Yeah. Comment on that. Yeah. Um, Andrea está preguntando por el resultado de Barcelona. Eh, Barcelona, eh, what was the end? Eh, Barcelona ganó 2-0 y quedan noven oh, ninth place in the tournament. <laughs> so we are here at the 51st game of the Champions Cup 2019, transmitting live from Berlin. We right now see starting of the second half time uh, of a men's uh, team goals from Australia against Vienna from Austria. We see right now a struggle in the middle for the ball possession. Number 11, Matthias Neunteufel, got the ball. They're trying to establish an attack here at the goals. Oh, they're missing the defender, but there's 
still so much people that we can't quite see. But I think they tackled away here, trying to move away from this basket. And there is another Vienna team member at the right yeah. time in the right position to get the ball recovered. So and still putting high pressure on the Unidive gold basket. Yes. So we have right here in the chat, and that's a goal. Yeah. Sadly. Finally succeeded with a high yeah. pressure. No. Can't read the chat from here. What, what's going on? In the um, they just told us that Jody isn't playing national teams in, in the national team yet. But she's a really good player, so I think for reaching maybe um, the national team, this experience here in Berlin is giving her um, quite night nice experience um, to and improve yeah. a lot. It's, uh, so to say, online training, live yeah. training. No, it's a really time. good training uh, to play against teams from, uh, from Europe. And even the men's team, that's a really high level. And you really ever, if you go out here of Champions Cup, you improve a lot and you can take some more tips, even with our commenting. So that we see another attack on the goals basket here from Vienna, really high. There wasn't, there was tackled away by some of the forwards, but still there two Vienna players trying to get catch of the balls. balls. And now a counter attack for Unidive goals. And now go. Still alone. That's yeah, the first scorer, up. number one. Oh, now we see there's nicely positioning around the basket yeah. of Vienna, what we saw before from Golds, but we are at the scrum at the surface right now. Now still in this ball position, but there, th there wasn't somebody away. there. So the Defend ball is back Vienna. in position from Vienna. Successful and Vienna counter attack. Still waiting for the ball. The Vienna guy at the uh, unit of goals basket. But there's a scrum. It, now it's going. Vienna again a new starting a new attack. There are the other team members in a way. Yeah. And that's a goal. And finally this working together is successful as we can see. They're coming close to the basket. Assist by passing. number four, and I couldn't see who made the goal, but it was assisting number four, who did earlier uh, a goal that Jan Kindermann from Wien scoring here. So we have six minutes and a half left. We have five scores for Vienna and one for the Unilife goals, but they're not without chances. No, they there are chances. They're really trying to get in there, but that's also, you see number 24 is really wanting to get in there, but instead of waiting and establishing a tech out of the close corner, he's going in there against three um, Vienna players alone. Now the ball dropped into the corner, recovered by uh, a goals player, um, trying to establish here the attack, but lost. That's a referee holding. holding without a ball, free throw, four goals. Maybe they can get in there. Vienna is taking care for their own basket. Defense yes. only already there. <coughs> Being prepared for a quick attack from the Unidive goals. And that's something which needs to be saved all the time. Yes. You need to be aware of an attack and sudden, sudden hint, sudden go all the time. So being a defender is something like a very responsible position. Like yes. As it is for every position, in, in <laughs> you have to you can't take say which one is more important. Yes, no, I think every every position yeah. is important. It so is and if they quite nicely play together, and now we have also one Vienna person here really aggressively attacking against four um, going. gold players, still going on the attack. Okay. So we see Hannah back on the basket here. And here in the 
and he's looking before he's starting the Vienna team member before starting his single attack he's been watching out checking if if the wave will succeed and the others are there yes totally and then we have here um, Thomas Denk in ball possession trying to get in there past the ball but number one is holding on here and um, we need where to offer when they are in a struggle no, down under because they can't pass to the side <laughs> down under yeah <laughs> you always know it <laughs> so um, well. you're always in the scrum laying down under to uh, <laughs> catch off the ball in case you uh, in case it drops or you can pass it down um, yeah, now we are at the ah. There was a f no number seven. Um, and this is another counter attack from Vienna. Started by losing the ball from the unit of goals. Yes, getting it back. Really fast getting it back. So we have number seventeen here go going fast in here, passing back a little bit, trying to establish it. We we saw Lobi number twenty four here again, but I think it was. Um, a dive that didn't brought so much because he just get yeah. in there alone and the others came a few seconds later and now we're playing out of the closet of the corner by goals but it's a really high intense game um, there's always three or four Vienna players down there trying to tackle away the ball and they successfully tackle away yes. the ball when, when Unidive goals coming more close and they play far away from the basket they yes. can pass the ball successfully but when they're coming close it's taken away successfully by the Vienna guys yes. starting the counter attack. So we have here the information number seven of goals is Ricardo he's the coach and uh, I talked earlier um, I think it was his dad and his mom was there also and he founded the club in Valladolid Spain that's very interesting right now living in Australia playing there so we have a free throw against goals here. And two and a half minutes left. And clear positioning from the Vienna guys at the... That could resolve in a goal, and but there's right down there somebody to Ooh. try to save it, but it resolved in a goal. But she hold it. A long time, but Again. they were like it wasn't just going in there doing the technique of uh, um, scoring, but really holding on there. Um, goals playing nicely together, trying to um, defend here, and now they're attacking again. But he's alone. Like they, I think. Yes. Playing together more closely. Can we switch the camera, please, to the other side? They're coming back like, Thank like in a second. It's like you can't speak so fast. The situations are changing sometimes, and sometimes it's like sticky it's a little bit. It looks like a free throw. Well. Okay, that looked first like a free throw for um, goals, but it's a free throw for Vienna against goals. Here we have one minute left in this game, running time. So they're playing of seventh and eighth position in in men's. Yeah. Uh, that would be really interesting. So 50 seconds left. Another heavy attack onto the goals basket by Vienna players, um, managing to get the ball close here. But some goals players defending really well, getting trying to get grip on the ball, and we. That's referee call. Yeah, pushing kicking with his shoulder, trying to lift yes. the goalie. Like yes. it was, was looking like that. Yeah. Maybe it's like things like this also happening within the movement when you try to come somewhere yes. and try to scramble through a scramble. But this time, but it wouldn't change finally the outcome. No, of the was game. a free throw for no, another referee call. And uh, turning off free mm. throw. And that's it. That game was over. game number 51 of Champions Cup 2019. Here we have a clear 6 1.